The best AI coding assistant just got better. Hello friends, if you've been following me for the last couple of weeks, you probably know that I'm pretty much obsessed with Cloud Dev, which is an AI coding assistant that streamlined the coding process and it is very powerful and it keeps on evolving and Saud, which is the founder of this project, just keeps on shipping new project, uh, new features and it's moving so fast and it's amazing. And today I want to share with you another update. Just before I do share the update, please make sure that if you haven't downloaded Cloud Dev yet, you can come to GitHub, read more about the project. I will leave the link, the URL in the video description. Downloading Cloud Dev, Cloud Dev is pretty straightforward. You can use it in your Visual Studio um, Marketplace. Come here to the extensions, select Cloud Dev. And it's this one. Make sure that you use the auto update button so you get the newest features and releases. And in the change log, you can see what are the additions that he, uh, they have done. The recent changes were pretty powerful and important. First of all, you can add more context. So basically a context from a URL. So you can paste an URL and then the extension will automatically fetch the HTML, convert it to Markdown, and then you can use this as context. So let's say you want um, a specific context from a specific website or from a specific documentation. You can just use this one. If you want to use Cloud Dev in order to fix errors that you have in your code, you can add the add problems. If you want Cloud Dev to take a look at the specific files, you can add add file. And if you want Cloud Dev to consider a specific folder, you can add add folder. This thing uh, is available in other coding assistants. For example, continue, which I have right here, has this solution as well, but this is new in Cloud Dev and it is very powerful. Let me show you an example. So the first example that I did, I just added my website as context. So at HTTPS ecomxf com. What is this website about? This is what I wrote and it gave me this answer. So this website is about Ecom X Factor, a marketing and automation service focused on helping online businesses scale effectively, blah, blah, blah. So this was um, fetching from my website and you can add any URL that you would like. Now let me show you an example of using the problem. So in VS Code, VS Code can automatically detect issues and errors in your code space. So what you can do here is just add this as context. So let's assume that you have an error. Let's add, let's do a typo over here. So you can see it was added to the problems tab over here in VS Code. Cannot find string SG, did you mean string? Now what I can do here is tag or add problem as the context, please fix this and it will read the problems. It knows exactly which file it should fix and it will fix it. So to fix the workspace problem in the prompts list .txs file, I'll need to read its context, identify the error on line 13 and correct it. Let's start by reading the file. So it's going to read the file and it's going to correct it, which is a simple task in this case, but um, imagine how useful it is when you have many errors and it just has access to your problems. You don't need to start copying and pasting the errors. It can just go to the problems area, that, which is the problem output that is generated by VS Code, and it can be fixed. Right here, you can see it fixed the typo. It also added this as comment, and that's pretty much it. You can do the same with adding files and folders. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it makes much sense to show you an example because it's pretty straightforward. The cool thing about the UI here is it's very easy to select which files you would like. And it also 
it also has like this sorting or, or searching ability, which is pretty useful. And if I want to add the whole folder, I can just select the whole folder, as you can see here, and just give specific guidelines for fixing um, text or code in a specific folder. The reason why this is powerful is because until now I use Cloud Dev for major code creation and major changes, but whenever I wanted to do small tweaks and I didn't want to send a lot of context or the repository was already too large and it kind of got confused because there was a ton of context, I used to switch to continue and gave continue specific guidelines. So I select, you can select this one and then come to continue and say, fix this specific code, or optimize this code or, or whatever. Or you can also add specific files in continue or problems, which I, you saw as an example, which was added to Cloud Dev, but this is continue. So this is what I, I've done using continue. And now that uh, these features were added to Cloud Dev, it's going to make, maybe it's going to make continue redundant, although I don't think so because I'm probably going to keep on using both. I'm using Cloud Sonnet 3.5 for Cloud Dev, and over here I'm using Gemini or, or Llama 70B with um, Grok, so it's uh, also free and very fast. So I'm using two different models in conjunction and this seems to be working pretty well for me. Um, but we'll see if uh, more features are going to be added to Cloud Dev. Maybe we'll completely move to Cloud Dev. Time will tell. But I just wanted to share with you these significant updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you did, please make sure to subscribe. If you have any feedback, leave them in the comment section. And until next time, keep on automating.